All right, guys, here's a uh, reverse training workout. This is the typical format, six exercises. Sometimes we're going to do each exercise three times, sometimes four times. I'll talk as we go. Just follow along. Uh, remember, the, the most important thing here is not the weight you use um, or how many reps you do. It's how fast you're moving. So I'm going to move as fast as I can, but to the point where I can still somewhat speak. But when you're doing this at home, you shouldn't be able to carry on a conversation, so you got to move fast. You should have a timer. If you don't, hopefully you can hear mine and just follow along. So we'll start it and get going in 10 seconds. What we're going to do first is called a, a thruster. So you can use weights or not. We're just primarily legs, but we're going to bring in upper body to make it a little harder. Little tip, by the way, I like to count the reps that I do. Like I said, it's not about how many you do, but I want to make sure that I try to at least do the same the next time around or more so I don't slack off. That's a tough one. That'll get you going. All right, the next one is a, is a reverse lunge. So you could do this without weights and just bounce one step back. We'll do it with weights. So you notice that we kind of stayed on one leg the whole time. Now we'll switch legs. Um, doing this by itself without weights is hard enough, especially when you're moving fast. But adding your upper body in makes it a lot harder. Now in this exercise, we're doing four total, two per leg.
All right, what do we got next? Let's call this calves three ways. So with, with without weights, feet doing toe raises, then we'll switch, and then we'll switch again. Toes out. Up and down as fast as you can go. Now we'll go toes out, heels in, up and down that way. FYI, the calves one is nice to stack in the middle, because it's not as, it doesn't tax you cardio-wise. You have to catch your breath at least a little bit. Last one, toes in, heels out. You should be breathing pretty hard at this point, otherwise you're not going fast enough. All right, this is a plie squat um, with or without weights. We'll add weights just to make it harder. So toes out, kind of knees out, coming down, weight up. Don't forget to use your legs here. Try not to put too much pressure or stretch on your back. This is kind of like all the craze now, that kettlebell swing stuff, which is nice, but I've hurt myself more times than I care to account for, so we added a little bit of a leg movement in to keep the stress off the back. All right, next one is called a good morning. Um, point being here is don't just flop forward. Stick your butt out, you should feel it in your hamstrings. It's a great exercise because you're working everything behind you. So yeah, your hamstrings and your butt, but make sure you come up all the way so you work your low back too. Hmm. 
When you're doing that one, by the way, especially next time you do this workout, you should be more familiar with you. You don't have to bend down so far. Maybe just come down to like 90 degrees with the floor. That's plenty. Next one. Last one. 80-20 squat. 80% of your body weight in one leg, 20% in the other, as fast as you can go. So we'll do this one four times, and then we're done. Two times on each leg. So this time, 80% of our body weight in this leg, 20% over here. This is just more for balance. Remember, when you go through these burst training exercises, it's all about speed. So there's no resting at the bottom. There's no resting at the top. It's just move, move, move as fast as you can go until the timer goes off. That's why it works. 80-20. Again, I'll say it almost every time. It's about speed and exerting yourself maximum capacity. I've done P90X in other workouts. They don't have the same effect on your metabolism as this. 80-20, last one. As fast as you can go. Hey, that's it. Good job. <clears throat> Nothing else to share with you. If you got questions, there's a form below. Fill it out. Come directly to me. I'll answer them for you. If you can't do squats, you can't do something you saw, send me an email. I'll tell you what I call the workaround is or the substitute exercise is. As you can tell, it doesn't have to be fancy. You don't need a whole lot of stuff. You can do this whole exercise just pure body weight alone. But if you do it right and you do it fast, You'll be out of breath just like I am. Your metabolism will be racing. You'll continue to burn calories for the next 8 to 12 hours. Better than you have probably ever before. Enjoy.